Hey team, welcome back to the garage again. It's been a while since I've been able to post. Work's been very busy and it's been taking me away from home uh, across the country on some real adventures. But I'm glad to be back in the garage today and sharing yet another oil analysis with you. I got one back here. Um, it's been in the, the hopper for a while to go over with you. And I finally come up with some time to make that happen. So again, I wanna thank everybody who's out there liking and subscribing to my videos, commenting in the comments section. I do appreciate it. And I'm sorry if it takes a little bit for me to get back to you. But like I said, uh, the last four or five months have been very, very busy for me. So today we got another oil analysis. This one's for my wife's 2023. Honda Pilot Elite that's got the 3.5 liter direct injected uh, engine in it. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, it's been a very good vehicle for us. We're very happy with it. Uh, today's analysis uh, has the car at about 28,586 miles. Um, and the oil itself has 8,901 miles. The oil was run for just a hair under five months um, in that amount of time. This car, um, it can either see a 75 mile an hour commute or it can sit in the garage for two days. It all depends what my wife's in office schedule looks like. Um, so it can be short trip some days just to go pick my kids up from school. Other days I can do a 75 mile an hour round trip on the highway. Uh, just to give you an idea, people do ask, you know, what are we doing with this vehicle? So they can get a good understanding of what kind of treatment the oil is seeing. Um, this oil was changed at 5% on the maintenance binder. That's when I do all my oil changes on my Hondas at 5%. So right now I'd like to start with the comments section. Let's dig in. Nice results. This report shows another round of improvement from the metals and silicon, showing more, maybe even the rest of the break-in materials and sealers cleared out at the last oil change. They may improve some more next time, but we wouldn't complain if these levels prove steady. Coolant and fuel are absent, and with a better view of silicon's true level, without assembly sealers clouding the view, we can say that the element is low enough to rule out dirt contamination. The TBN shows lots of additive left. Great report, try 10,000 miles again. And I do want to say that this was done on Mobile One Oil, uh, just the regular full synthetic, and with a Honda oil filter. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to our elements in parts per million. First, we'll start with the wear metals. Aluminum, five. Chromium, zero. Iron, 10. Copper, eight. Lead, zero. Tin, zero. Nickel, zero. Silver, zero. Titanium, zero. Next, we'll move on to our contaminants. Potassium, zero. Silicon, 26. Sodium, three. Next, in parts, in parts per million, is our additives. Molly is at 111. Manganese, eight. Boron, 31. Calcium, 1,055. Magnesium, 510. Phosphorus, 462. Zinc, 624. And barium comes in at zero. Next, we're gonna look at our physical properties. Our SUS viscosity, 50.3. CST viscosity, 7.37. Our flash point was at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Our fuel percentage is less than 0.5%. Antifreeze at zero, water is at zero. Insolubles, we have a trace. And our TBN, which is our remaining amount of additive, is at 3.3. So there we have it. We have another great report on my wife's 2023 Honda Pilot. I'm happy to see that the Mobile One held up very, very well. Um, and that it seems that the engine's settling right in. There's no concerns, no, no major incidences going on. So I'm pretty happy, especially since we're getting near the end of the bumper bumper warranty on this vehicle. Um, I don't think we're gonna have any, any issues with the engine or drivetrain 
uh, moving forward. But we'll continue testing the oil samples and I'll keep reporting them back here. So thanks for joining me again in the garage today and I hope to be speaking with you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.